Young. Um, so here's here's the thing. Let's go ahead and dive into Minnesota here. Write my time down again. The Minnesota Vikings, 10-6 and six last year. Pretty good. Pretty good. Mike Zimmer in his seventh season here. Uh, they lose Stefanski, obviously. That's uh, kind of an uh, issue, but I, I believe Kubiak still going to be around, still doing his thing. Offensive yards per play, they were number 13 last year, 5.7 yards per play. Defense gave up 5.2 yards per play. That was number 10 in the NFL. Turnover margin, even better. Top three in the NFL. They were number three. They gained .7 turnovers per game. And look, after Thielen, you got to hope that Jefferson steps up because, uh, you know, aside from Thielen and and Dalvin Cook and I guess like Irv Smith and uh, and Kyle and, and everybody else, uh, you know, the tight ends and whatnot, it, you you got to have – you don't have a ton of proven weapons, right? So you need somebody to step up yeah, in that Yeah, but nobody spot. knew who Thielen was before Thielen became Thielen, and nobody knew who Diggs was before Diggs became Diggs, okay? Agree, but don't forget, Thielen is coming off of an injury, and that's that's where you've got okay. kind of an issue. So you, I'm just you, saying those guys that you don't know their name today, by week six you'll know their name. Yeah, yeah, we, we should. We hope. We hope, right? Um, and hopefully we know them for the right reasons. That's that's the biggest well, yeah. thing. Yeah. Okay. So um, their only major free agent money was spent on Michael Pierce, defensive lineman, uh, who came over and then opted out for COVID reasons. Um, you know, uh, let's see. DFS Bachelor said Bissy Johnson is running as a wide receiver two in camp. Uh, Vikes go three wide, less than any team in the league. Yeah, Jefferson yeah. isn't even isn't even top three right now. That's right. So that's that's kind of a deal. You you hope that he can uh, step up. You know, make some make some moves in that department. But we'll see. They, uh, they lost a lot on that defense. Xavier Rhodes, Mackenzie Alexander, uh, Everson Griffin, etc. I mean, there were a bunch of them that they lost, right? And that's kind of a problem. But if I'm going to trust anybody with a defense, it's going to be Mike Zimmer. Like, yeah, I, I trust great. him with a defense. And they went I, out and got guys to replace those guys. Yeah, no, they absolutely did. Their win total is set at nine. Uh, over is minus 105. Under is minus 125. And to win the division, they are plus 160. And look. Like I said, I I don't think anybody in the – I think – you know how the NFC East has just been kind of eh, you know, for the past however many years? Like nobody mm-hmm. ever really gets over nine wins, ten wins, whatever. I, I think that's what this division is right now. I think they're going to eat each other alive. I like the Vikings to win the division. I've got them at nine and seven winning this division. And I, I, I still think it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, I got them one game above that, ten and six. Like I said, I think they're going to win it. I think they're going to be pretty good. Listen, I think this division, this defense is going to be pretty good, okay? They're the only defense that I know of that has two elite, two really good players at all three phases of the defense, all right? You talk about cornerbacks and DBs being young, okay? Listen, that's all the league is made up of, of young DBs, all right? If you're an old DB, you're not any good anymore, okay? These yeah. wide receivers are dusting your ass, and guys are coming in every year as rookies or second-year guys and taking over the spots. And they're taking over the jobs. I don't want somebody who's been in the league, uh, you know, unless it's Stephon Gilmore, that 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 <laughs> is going to be my cornerback. All right, I just don't. If you've been in the league four or five years, I don't need you. Okay, I need somebody young and fast and, and able to play. And and so that's that's just where I I put this defense. I think Gary Kubiak is going to run the football. Run the, this offense is going to go through Dalvin Cook and that offensive line. They are going to let. Uh, um, holy cow, the quarterback of this football team. Oh, Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins. <laughs> wow. That was one of those. I went to a different, like, space before. Um, Kirk Cousins is going to be fine. You know why the turnover ratio was good? Because he just doesn't turn the ball over a lot, okay? That's a good point. He, 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 now he does, he's also not making a lot of big plays. Okay? Well, it's a DFS jumped in on the chat. He said uh, no quarterback comes up smaller in big games than Kirk Cousins. Yes. Now, no, he did he have has, the massive playoff game, right? You, you got the, the touchdown pass very end of the game in New Orleans. But other than that, I mean, no, he typically does not come up he big. Usually do, historically, he has not come up big in, in those games. Um, it, but that's okay. I don't think this team is built on the quarterback being all things to all people, everybody. And I think that's a good thing. I think Zimmerman knows finding a quarterback is really, really hard. I just need one that won't lose his games. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. I'm with you. That is going to wrap up our NFC North preview. Uh, Obviously, you can go back, download the podcast, get the AFC North preview as well. We will be going through two divisions a day. 
Uh, tomorrow, we are handling our SBR duties. You can find us at 5.30 p.m. Central Time over at SBR's YouTube page. That is Sportsbook Review, SBR Picks, uh, whatever you want to do. Go over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF to find that. Uh, we appreciate DFS Bachelor coming in and, uh, and joining in the chat there. He jumped in a lot of information for us. Uh, Damien said Vikings are winning the division. Unfortunately, Bears will be getting into the wild card. Hey, you got a lot of faith in the Bears, man. I'm with you. Uh, DFS said the safeties are great in Minnesota. Uh, great point. And he said this feels like 9-7 and seven wins this division. Yeah, 100% because I think they're going to eat each other alive. Uh, go over to winningcureseverything.com. All of our picks, previews, podcasts, videos, social media platforms, etc. are over there. You can subscribe to the podcast and leave a nice five-star written review over at Apple Podcast, or you can just get it on whatever podcast app you like. Whichever one you want, we are on there. Go and check it out. Do us a favor, sign up, download all that good stuff. Stick with us for the entire season. All of our NFL coverage, NBA, Major League Baseball, all the other sports, we will be right here. Our college football coverage will be over at sportsbookreview.com. You can find us at sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. With that, uh, Chris, I think we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Is there anything we need to hit? Nope, that's it, brother. You guys have been fantastic. Thank you, everyone, that jumped into the chat and helped drive the show today. We appreciate you guys helping shape the narrative of what we are talking about. The conversations are fantastic. With that said, we are going to go ahead and get out of here. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we will see you again tomorrow.